line looks pretty good from this angle. Starter in position. Autocratic weapon in the market. Light on set there. Racing Royal Rumble. Tardy out of the gate. Smuggling from the inside begins well, but with pleasure the stable mates burning out deep. Autocratic's trying to hold it in the early stages and these two go out to set up the speed. Weapon gets into a nice third early stages and then smuggling the inside all scenes now back fifth Royal Rumble Embley they find their order at the 900 metre mark but the pressure's on with pleasure on the outside of Autocratic who punches up on the inside for Jared Todd and they're the best part of five in front of Weapon who's just ridden quite off the speed over on the inside smuggling fourth or seen tracking up fifth quite nicely off the back two lengths Royal Rumble and the last one is Embley so at the six and Autocratic now gets a clean lead leads a length in front of with pleasure pushed along and Autocratic just gets a little little steadier. Weapon starting to close now. Gets to a clear third and looks to run on well. A gap then all seen. Getting up along the inside. Smuggling Royal Rumble. Embley tacking on. So at the 300 metre mark they did burn early but Autocratic sights the judge first and heads for home. Two lengths clear in second spot with pleasure. Out deeper. Weapon just holding his ground. Trying to run on smuggling. All seen's putting in a claim. Autocratic look gone. And then Royal Rumble and Embley but now Weapon swept to the front. Race straight past with pleasure who tried to fight on but Weapon with a well timed run comes away and Weapon wins well. A length on the line to With Pleasure or seen getting through late. Grabs the third from Royal Rumble and then Embley smuggling back second last and the early leader. Autocratic. He just couldn't do it at both ends. He's finished last. Weapon. Jason Lyon. Gary Lafoe. Too good. Back to back wins here at the Bay. Winning on Cup Day and has really timed his run well there. Autocratic went out hard with With Pleasure. Well to With Pleasure's credit, credit it has stuck on really well for second. In 114.28. And uh, he got tied there, Autocratic, in the drive to the line. Now, third goes to five, and that was all seen. Getting through late. One and a quarter by three quarters of the margins. We'll benefit off that and certainly appreciate that first run at the track. And fourth has gone to three, Royal Rumble, who didn't begin well, but has closed off into fourth in front of six. And that was Embley. So numbers confirmed, 47536, the winner number four, Weapon. A seven-year-old chestnut gelding written tycoon gather for Rochelle Adams and R. Adams. This is R. A. Wynett and Hanrahan S. Cassidy P. M. Chalmers A. D. Doyle J. A. Adams. This is P. E. McIntyre Trev Sherp in the ownership too. So good to see Trev on track today with Richard uh, O'Sullivan there too with M. C. Sparrow, A. C. Hay C. M. Littler B. M. Littler J. Leck and L. Rowbottom trained by Gary Disco Lafoe and Jason Lyon. Picks up his first winner on today's card. Second goes to seven with pleasure. Six-year-old Bay Mare, Magnus to heaven to hold. Phil Cole, Tess Townsend. Dropped off before the turn, but did rally again. And third goes to five, and that was all seen as six-year-old Chestnut Gelding Schnitzel. This is a purple for Ange Forster. And Stan Sakos running a nice race. We'll get those sections through in a sec, but we'll wait for these winners to return, folks, on race number three. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Winner returning here, number four, Weapon, at start number 37. Win seven, 13 minor placings. Prize money now up towards the $172,000 mark. And the Hurricane Line picks up his first winner on today's card for Lafayette. We stand by for correct weight. <laughs> 